Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have a September TBR video for you, which feels weird filming because I never used to film them because I hated like feeling like I had to read what I picked out. That always like stressed me out majorly. And then last year I went through a phase, well not phase, it was like a goal, like I'm going to make a TBR video and a wrap up video every month and I stuck to it. And then this year, obviously in January, I, was, I started a teaching job and like there was no way I was going to be able to predict what my reading was going to be like. So I couldn't even say like I'll read a book this month, I'll read this this month. So basically that was all like on a whim, like did I even get a chance to read? And then the summer hit and it was like, no, I'm just going to read as much and as, as I can. Like I didn't even want to pick out potential books because I was just reading to read, which was a good thing because I ended up getting through like 50 books. Like in August, I read 24 books or something like that, 24, 25 books. So like there was no TBRs for that because it was just kind of like read what I wanted and just kept going. Right now we're at a point in September where unfortunately I don't know what I'm doing in my life. And it's been really frustrating. I never pictured myself being in a position like this where it would still be the first week of school and I didn't know if I was going to have my own classroom or if I was going to have to go back to subbing. And it's been really stressing me out. And at this point, I don't want to like put myself down and say like I'm not going to be teaching this year. But I really... And luck has not been on my side with what I've been getting interviews for and why I haven't been getting them. So I foresee myself subbing for the next four months, even though, like, I really wish that wasn't the case. But um, right now I think that's what's going to be happening. So if I'm just going to be subbing, I'm going to be able to make TBRs again because... Subbing, you don't have to bring work home. That's the one plus side about subbing. Unless you're a long-term sub, then obviously you're bringing work home because you're, you're the head of the classroom. But when you're subbing, really, you can even bring a work book to work if you wanted to because if the kids are in a special, go for it. You can read. So I'm going to make a TBR video. Maybe this will jinx myself into getting a job. That would be totally awesome. I would love that. <laughs> to be honest, I would love that. Um, so, yeah. Um... If you watched my wrap-up video, you saw that my goal right now is to kind of go two and two, so read some older books that I've had on my shelf for a long time, and then two newer books. Especially since I've just hauled a whole bunch, like I want to be able to make sure that I'm giving equal love to my entire bookshelf. Not that I have a whole ton of unread books, right? Well, these are read. These don't count. But, enough. So one of my goals you saw probably in one of my wrap-ups is that I want to finish rereading re the Harry Potter series this year, which meant to read a book a month until the year's over. As of right now, I'm going to be done in November if I keep up with my goal. So obviously I need to be able to read um, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. I was so tempted to pick this up yesterday with everybody wishing um, Harry's son a happy first day at Hogwarts. So I was really tempted to pick this up yesterday, but I was in the middle of a book and things like that, so I didn't pick it up. But I'm nervous to get to this one because I know this one's kind of one of my least favorites, especially because it's so long and Dolores on bridge is in this one, and I don't like her. And it's just so long, and it's going to take up so much time. I'm going to have to, like, pick a weekend and just, like, sit and, like, read this like no other. So that's one goal to read. This one kind of counts as a book that's been on my shelf for a really long time. Even though it is reread, I've had these editions since last summer and I haven't finished rereading them yet. So they are definitely kind of been on my shelf for a while. Um, one of the books that's kind of my new book is um, Summer Child by Diane Chamberlain. Um, Summer is in the title, so I feel like I need to read this before summer is completely over. After I finish filming this and doing things like that around the house, I'm probably going to pick this one up because summer's almost over. I don't even know what it's about, but I, I'm going to read it and tell you. Um, another one of my goals is to really power through some series and finish up the series that I have the ability to finish. So, like, if I don't have the books to finish a series, I obviously can't 
Do you see that fly that just like flew through? What is going on? I don't know where it came from. So one of my goals is to kind of finish series, which is why I finished the cruel series and which is why I finished the partial series. So the next series I would love to finish and just kind of get over with is the Arcadia series. The first one was Arcadia Awakens, I think. And then the sequel is Arcadia Burns. And the final book is Arcadia Falls. Wasn't 100% thrilled with the first book, but I want to finish them. I think they're kind of neat. Their covers are really cool. And, like, you can't really tell, but, like, the oh, right there you can tell. It looks like snake skin, which is kind of cool. Both of them have that. So I kind of like to finish this, even if I have to, like, read this one and then put read something else and then pick this one up. I would love to knock another trilogy out, that's for sure. And then another book, which is like a newer book that I'd love to get through, is um, The Lady of the Eternal City, which is the fourth and I think the final book, finally, in the Empress of Rome. Oh, it says Empress of Rome novel, so I wonder if that's the name of the series. I don't know, but I thought the series was done, I thought it was a trilogy, and then lo and behold this baby came out. So maybe it's not going to be done, I'm hoping it's done, at least this way I can catch up before I start her other series, which is The Serpent of the Pearl and The Lion and the Rose. I want to be able to read this one before I get to those. Um, and then, I know, like, I never really see many people talk about Kate Quinn on YouTube, but for all of you Outlander fans... Diana Gabaldon quoted on the back. So, if you like the Outlander series, you should pick up Kate Quinn because I just said so. I just saw that, so I thought I'd throw that out there. And then the other two books that I would love to get to this month, and I'm... <sighs> I would love to get to them. I've, they've been on my mom for so long, but I want to be able to finish some series before I start two new ones. So the first one I would love to get to is Reawaken by Colleen Hoke. This is the first book in a trilogy that she is starting, and I think it takes place in Egypt. I don't want to look into it because I just want to go into it blindly and enjoy it, just like I did with the Tiger's Curse series. So I would love to get to this, but obviously it would be a first book in a series. Who knows when the second one's going to come out? But I would like to get to this if I could at least finish maybe the Arcadia series or if I could finish this series or something. And then the other book that I would like to get to, again, would start a series. I think it would be a duology. The second book comes out in February. Another book that has not left my mind since I first really heard about it. And that is You by Caroline Kepnes. Want to read this so bad. But again, because the second book doesn't come out till February... And because it would start out another series, I'm kind of hesitant towards picking it up right away, even though, like, I literally want to devour these two books like nobody's business. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So if you read any of these books or have any idea 